Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, dear wonderful listeners, friends from across the world, depending on where you are at the moment and you're listening from. Thank you for your support. Thank you for standing by us. Thank you for trusting us to bring you interesting news. Please, I would like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel right now if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world. Nigerian musician Idris Abdul Karim has alleged that Igbos would have been killed if the attack on the Nigerian Defense Academy had happened in the East. Recall that assailants, bandits, gunmen broke into the Nigerian Defense Academy premises in the early hours of Monday or Tuesday as around 1 a.m. according to reports, killing two army officers and abducting two majors. The controversial rapper in a post on his Instagram page said, let's assume the NDA is located in any of the Igbo states and such attack took place in that particular southeast state. By now, the army will be burning down Igbo villages and killing them. Meanwhile, Buhari in a statement issued by his special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adesina on Wednesday vowed that the attack won't dampen the morale of the troops. All right, guys, what are you, or what is your take on what Idris Abdukarim said? That if the Nigerian Defense Academy had been located in any of the southeastern states and this attack happened, that the armies would have by now been burning down villages in Igbo land and killing Igbo youths. Do you agree with the rapper? Do you agree with Idris Abdul Karim? If you'd ask me, absolutely yes. Going by the precedents that this administration of President Muhammad Buhari had laid, I would go with him. I will agree with Idris Abdul Karim. If the NDA attack had happened in the Southeast, there would have been so many dead bodies in the Southeast recorded in the hands of the Nigerian, uh, Nigerian soldiers. Why? Because that is what this government does. Take, for instance, what happened to the IPOP and Eastern Security Network members. How the Nigerian government deployed fighter jets, deployed military personnel into the southeast at every given point in time where there is an issue that could be resolved via dialogue or even every other means. But the government will always opt for the deployment of Nigerian security agencies to go there and um, you know, carry out attacks. And at the end of the day, they end up killing people. They end up killing youths. They end up destroying properties. They end up burning houses. They end up, you know, abducting Igbo youths and taking them to Abuja. That is what the Nigerian military or security agencies have been known to be doing anytime they are deployed to the southeast. It is sad and unfortunate. What does that tell you? It tells you that there is a special hatred or a special, um, you know, rage that this government has for the people of the Southeast. Little wonder Namdekano is in detention. Many IPOP members or Eastern Security Network members and Igbo youths who are not even members of the IPOP and Eastern Security Network are still being held in different detention centers across the country. While terrorists, bandits who are having a field day across the nation daily are out there carrying out their businesses, collecting ransom, heavy ransom, even from government. And the government cannot arrest them, cannot prosecute them, cannot even get them, and has allowed them to continue to carry out their senseless acts. It tells you where we are as a people, as a government, and as a nation 
it is really, really sad and unfortunate. And these are some of the things that Namdekano had seen and had raised alarm about. He had talked about, he had warned about, but now he is being incarcerated because of what he saw and the truth he spoke about. Namdekano is called a terrorist, even when he is not a terrorist. But the real terrorists are out there. The government cannot lay hands on them. The government cannot arrest them. The government allows them to be having a field day. Is that how to run a government? Is that how to run a country? Is that what is expected of a government that wants to protect her citizens? Absolutely no, if you'd ask me. It tells you that this government is just there as a figurehead, is just there to um, inflict suffering on the people from other parts of the region while they allow the vices that they condemn in the south to thrive in the north it is sad and unfortunate it is the truth so idris abdekarim has said it the way it is and every other person out there knows that this is the holy truth take it or leave it Look at the ordeal that Namdekano is going through. Look at the ordeal that the people of the Southeast are going through. Look at the ordeal that innocent youths who were abducted from their homes or from their town cities, communities, and wrongly accused of being members of IPOP and Eastern Security Network. Look at the ordeals that they are going through in the hands of security agents. What does it tell you? It tells you that, you know, the Nigerian government is always fast sharp and brutal when it comes to activities in the southeast it is really really unfortunate i stand to be corrected but it is the truth of the matter and until until this particular precedence changes it continues to be the wrong approach to addressing these issues well, guys, it is what it is. It is unfortunate, but that is the reality out there. Only God knows how long this will continue. Bandits are having a field day. Terrorists are having a field day. But innocent people in the South are paying dearly for the crimes they do not commit, for the crimes they know nothing about. That is injustice. And that is why you see that people are asking for the Biafra Republic. The Yoruba nations are asking for the Yoruba nation Republic. What are your thoughts, guys? Well, drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.